Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. We have some donations to do this time. I got a new stone from an Omni Geode. I thought it was a Obsidian, but it's actually a Fire Opal. So we'll go ahead and donate that, and we get a reward for that. And then we have the much sought after Dwarf Scroll 2. So now we have all four of them placed over here and got ourselves a brand new reward. So we have two rewards to take a look at. What was that? Did that just... Okay, we're just going to talk to him. Collect rewards. We have a Crystallarium. That's awesome. I guess that's probably for just donating so many gems, which means I have diamonds to put in there. And then the Dwarvish Translation Guide teaches you Dwarvish. Oh, I guess that's a crafting recipe, maybe? So, did that... Did this... Did I accidentally do that? Is there like one where he stands and I just picked it up? Because I think that's what happened. That's bizarre. Or maybe it's supposed to go there. I bet you it's supposed to go there. Okay, well we have all four, so let's take a look in here. About this Dorvis translation guide. I don't see it. It's not in our inventory. I clicked on it and it disappeared. It's not anywhere in here. Do I just know Dwarvish now? I forgot about the worm bin too. Gosh darn it. That'll be this episode as well. I might just know Dwarvish now. Oh no, it's in my wallet. Oh, okay. I wonder if I just know it. Let's go up and um... Oh god, I didn't know you were right there. Um, I guess we can go try and talk to him. Let's go to the mines. And give it a try. If not, I'm going to have to do something. I'm just not sure what it's going to be yet. Oh, yes! We can understand him now! Rain. It's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. Because you're underground so much? Oh, he's got a shop! Oh, cool! Life elixir restores health to full. So, these are the same things I thought that I could make, but I also sold at Harvey's, so I wonder what the price difference is. Cherry bombs, bombs, mega bombs, miner's treat, plus three mining and plus three to magnetism. That is a good deal for a thousand to buy those. Oh, and a rare crow! Oh, and he's got recipes as well. We'll go ahead and buy the weathered floor recipe. We'll go ahead and buy ourselves a rare crow, because we do not have this rare crow yet. And I won't buy any of these, because I think we actually have them. Um, but this is good to know that if I want to go do a bunch of blasting, I can buy a bunch of bombs here. Because at this point in the game, I don't know what to spend this money on. I honestly have no idea. So just having it to buy things when I need something is nice. So good to know that we have him now. Now I think I can probably give him gifts. I think. I have another... Let's see, we have a heart with Krobus and the dwarf. So I have a present to go bring him. Let me go pick it up and I'll bring it back. So I get lots of these dwarf scrolls, and they're only worth 1G when I sell them. So I figured, I wonder if he likes them as gifts. And he does. This reminds me of home. So it looks like he likes that as a pretty decent gift. Um, so it looks like this is another person we need to befriend. Did at least get me some hearts with him? It moved me up a little bit, so I guess I have something with him. Um... But yeah, that's just another thing to do. Uh, if my suspicions are correct, one thing I want to check was that gravestone that had a message on it that we couldn't understand. It was probably Dwarvish. Maybe that's where he's got one of his dwarf friends buried. It's possible if he's an accepted member of the town. So let's take a look at that. Uh, was it this one? Nope. That one? Nope. This one? Nope. Uh, it's the one we can interact with. You translate the Dorvish. Stand between the pillars, three, with gifts as precious as the sky, a rainbow forged from land, not sea, then galaxies will heed your cry. Well, stand between the pillars, three, is probably the three pillars in the desert. So I need to stand between the three pillars with a gift that's as precious as the sky, a rainbow forged from land, not sea, then galaxies will heed your cry. A 
rainbow forged from land. So we need to have a precious gift that's a rainbow. What item do we have that is a rainbow that's from the land? So it's not a fish. So it's a crop. It's something with an animal. It's a gem. A prism. Like if you had like a diamond, you know? If you had a diamond in your hand, you could... None of these are rainbows, but if you had a diamond, like, you can, like, make a prism and shine the light. Well, at least we know what we need to do. We just don't know what the item is at this point. Um, so that's good to note. I wanted to go check this guy's shop down here. Because he told, someone told me, oh, cutscene. This was unexpected. A shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. If you doors hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd have never had to resort to violence. Oh yeah, remember remember we read a book? It was like the shadow people and the dwarves had a big a big war a long time ago. It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Let me at him, he's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. Oh, whoa, the wizard. Holy crap, a whole bunch of stuff is happening. Why wow, he just smited them both. Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. <laughs> yeah, stay away from- why was he down in the sewer? Who knows? A seal of promise to finalize this agreement. So I guess no more fightings between these two. Well... That was exciting, I guess. I wanted to see what he's got, because we haven't been here in a couple days. Yeah, he doesn't have a special item. It's just these two things now. That's it. All right. I'm going to check out the shop lady, and then i got to go back to the, perform to the farm and do last-minute preparations for the start of winter. And I got ourselves the catfish. That was rather easy. Only about four or five fish. Forgot to do that. So once winter comes, I know there's fish in the desert and down in the mines we need to get and then the winter legendary fish we will hunt for, and uh, we'll keep moving along. Our fish collection's really coming along quite nicely. Just real quick, I wanted to check this lady up here, then I'll actually get on the farm, do some work, and I will see you guys for the start of winter. But having frame rate problems today, not sure this is the only thing running on my computer. Ghost fish, we have... Bug meat way overpriced. Perch. Have we caught that yet? Blueberries. Winter chair. We have that. I'll go ahead and buy a winter chair. We need a chair. Um, actually, we have. I did most of the work yesterday. I'm going to get some hardwood so we can do the worm bin. That's something we've been meaning to do. Oh boy, a new baby lizard hatched? Um, um, Godzilla. This is definitely going to be a dinosaur. We're going to, it's going to like destroy our whole farm. Oh, look at it. Oh my God, it's so cute. Godzilla. Look at it, it's a baby still. Or is it actually grown up? No, that's definitely a baby. I think it's going to grow. Now, I wonder if it actually lays dinosaur eggs or if it's literally just for decoration. Um, still haven't got my second rabbit's thing. I even had good luck today. Well, it is winter time. So welcome all to the winter season. 
I did a cranberry harvest yesterday. I did a bunch of fishing. Didn't catch the new fish I want, but I found the new legendary, but couldn't catch it. I got it about five times, but it was like impossible to catch. I'm going to need to get higher leveled in fishing, I think, and I'm going to need to use some sneaky tackle. Um, you can see the heaters are working. They're helping to keep my animals happier and um, a bit healthier during the winter time here. And I also spent yesterday work. Um, I also spent yesterday cleaning out the farm, so I just kind of cleaned it out and got it ready, like at the outside, cleaned up the outside. Um, the chests have not been touched yet, and a lot of the stuff has been deteriorating that we need to clean up as well. Um, so that is going to be happening, but I just wanted to show you guys that Godzilla did hatch, and I guess I'll show you the blue li the blue slime has been breeding, so we'll take a peek down there. Um, you can see I cleared, I cleaned it up. I just, I mean, I got like a thousand wood from all the cleaning up I did. All right. Yep. You can see we got a blue slime now, a purple slime. So they're all getting, they're all mixing up now. Um, what we're gonna do now is a worm bin because I'm doing a bunch of fishing. Um, remember we spent those time in the in the mines and the upper levels. I got a bunch of bug meat and I basically created 145 bait and I can make about 145 more bait. Um, but we're gonna see what this worm bin is all about. So let's see if we got enough hardwood. Oh, we got plenty of hardwood. All right, crafting, what do we need? We need 25 hardwood, a gold, an iron, and 50 fiber. So we got a gold, we got an iron, we got 25 hardwood, and then 50 fiber. I'm glad I saved a whole bunch of fiber from, this is mostly from clearing out everything at the end of the fall. A worm bin, produce, oh wait, let's see. Produces bait on a regular basis. The worms are self-sufficient. So let's drop this. I don't know where to put this. We're going to like reorder how we put things. But for now, let's just drop it right there. So I guess I don't have to do anything. It'll just produce bait. Is it going to be worms? Like a different type of bait? Or is it just going to be like your normal bait? We shall find out in the future when that, um, when that starts rocking and rolling. I have so much slime, I really don't think I need any more of it. Um, I could go examine that geode. I do want to go just check the shop in town. So I'm going to run into town, check the shop out. And I think after that, it's going to be time to start working some decoration on the farm. I'm going to spend the rest of the day fishing, however. Uh, but I'll be sure to update you guys if I catch anything good. Um, basically, I'm looking for two fish right now. One is a specific winter fish that's found any time in the river. And then the second one is a legendary fish, but I don't think I'm going to catch that right now. I think that's going to be like later in the winter when I do a bunch of fishing and get my levels up. Um, we're going to save the town decorating for another episode, though. So this rest of this episode is just going to be fishing because I do know down in the mines, we have a bunch of fishing to do down there as well. Oh, man, I thought that was going to be iridium. I think the first thing I'm going to do with my five iridium is, because we've got the money to do all the tools, is going to be the pickaxe so that I can mine quicker and smoother um, inside of, you know, we'll just go down the mines now, quicker and smoother um, when it comes to the um, skull caverns. So I believe there's one special fish in each of these levels, like there's a lava one, an ice one, and then like a cave one. And we didn't catch them because I never spent enough time fishing down here and you get a lot of trash. So it can definitely be a little tedious. Because you get so much trash. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I think it's like these three. Do we get a ghost fish? Okay, oh yes we have. So I've caught a ghost fish, which is a fish that can be found in the mines, but I think it's found in all the mines, of all the levels of the mine. We just have like specific fish to each of the floor, the levels here. So we need to catch the lava fish now. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that was really hard to get. Okay, that was the first fish I saw. Look at the trash I got, that was ridiculous. I used up my tack on a whole bunch of bait too. So this one's too hard at the moment. We're going to jump up and try...
the ice one because that was I didn't have too much luck with that it was a little bit too hard to catch at the moment oh that was much better luck when they go to the bottom it's the worst I always lose the most when they go to the bottom I didn't bring any special tackles and I didn't eat any like boosters which I could have done um, but I didn't think these would be that hard to catch there we go one of the new fish we needed the ice pip Ooh, an ancient seed that's worth it we'll get that turned into uh, an ancient seed to plant I have another one that I want to plant and we need to plant it in the where in the greenhouse so we can start growing just some of those because they're worth a lot of money. And then the one in this one, of course, there's one fish specific to each of the three levels of the mine. The lava fish, we're going to have to come back and get. I'll, you know, there's no rush because you can get that any time of the year. I'll get my fishing levels up a bit more before that happens. Um, we have this one. Let's see if we get just as lucky. We do. Well, this could be a ghost fish. Yes, it is a ghost fish. All right, let's keep trying. Of course, fishing has been my lowest leveled skill. Um, this A good goal for this winter is, would be to get this to level 10. Because I think we're, what, level 8 right now? 7? I think we're level 8, so I think we have two more levels we can go. And uh, hopefully we'll get pushing that with all the fishing I'll be doing the next couple of days. So much trash. I might be worth making another recycler. Oh yeah, this fish is different. I think it's different. Nope, it wasn't different. Maybe the ghost fish wasn't the special one on this floor, I don't think. I think that's like anywhere in the mines. Yes. Nope, I don't see anything special about that one. <sighs> oh no! No! Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close, we almost lost it. Oh! And of course it was just a ghost fish. Um, hello? Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you need it. Clint the blacksmith. Alright, this looks like it made five bait, and I think it makes five bait every single day, which is uh, pretty nifty. You can make a few of those, but just, like, that's enough because you don't fish every couple every day. So over the course of a few days, you might definitely have um, an enough to do a good bit of fishing. Okay, well... Anything good? No, we're nothing good. Um, I'm just coming in basically to keep befriending this guy over here so that he can grow up. Um, does it say baby on there? I thought it used to say like baby somewhere, but maybe it didn't. Um, so the fishing, we got one of the fish, but I couldn't find the other one. The other one was too hard. The legendary was too hard to catch. I looked up the scorpion one that I needed the desert. That one was too hard to catch. The bottom line really is I need to get my fishing skill up, and I think the best way to do that is going to be to hunt for this uh, right now, and then after that will probably be to hunt for the scorpion carp, because down in the mines you get so much trash, and I'm not really sure that counts for your fishing XP too much, and it would just waste a lot of bait, so I'd rather just get these later when we need them, um, but this one is the last normal fish in town we can get, which will go for that, and then maybe the one at the desert here. But again, they're all pretty tricky to catch, and maybe a little bit of extra levels will be helpful. Of course, I have the fish trout soup and the dish of the sea, which I'll probably take the fish trout soup with me just to try and get that one. Um, again, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a bunch of fish in the next couple days. I feel like doing that um, before we jump onto anything else. So um, I'm gonna return to the fishing here in just a moment. Hey, I caught one. I missed like five of them. It was kind of a pain in the butt because it, it was one of the ones that go up, down, up, down, up, down, and you try and chase it. But if you just stay in like one place at the top or the bottom, you'll like, you know, have a better chance at catching it. So there we go. 
um, now we just have the winter. We have the winter, spring, winter. Actually, I think we just have the, yeah, we have the winter. Actually, yeah, no, we have the winter and summer. How many legendaries have we caught? The one from the sewer. And then the one during the the fall. And then this was the one from the summer that we couldn't catch. And this is the current one from the winter. And then we have the great legend one, which we can't catch until we get all of the fish. But I think that's it. Maybe there's not one specialty for the spring. Or maybe this is one you can only catch in the spring. Um, and then we have the desert one and the two underground. So we got all the normal ones out in town. So woo. Um, I think now, now would be a good time to actually hunt for the legendary. I might as well just stay down here and hunt for the legendary and finish out this day and see if we can get a bit good get a, get a good bit of experience. I'm not gonna hunt for any of the other fish until we get higher fishing levels. Um, I'm not gonna worry about them until my fishing level gets up. So we're gonna hunt for the the uh, legendary fish on here, which, as it said, the southernmost point on the island. And we do some fishing and see if we can get lucky. I think we will. I got the cork bobber on, cork bobber on, and the trout soup which has bumped us up. So we have a bar as if we were probably level 10. You can see how big that bar is. I was watching Skatem, who actually just started playing this game, and I saw his fishing rod meter, and it was like, I mean, it was just like no size at all. I mean, it was so tiny. I was like, how did we catch fish like that? But I guess we did. I need to go make some and or buy some of the treasure bobbers because while I just fish for the sake of leveling up, I might as well try and get a whole bunch of treasure. And that will be stuff that goes on off screen because we don't really have any fish to hunt for, so no point in me and you guys just watching me fish a whole bunch. And this must be a pike or a lingcod. It could actually be either one. That might be a pike though. Yeah. Lingcod was a little bit more erratic and harder to catch than that. Wait for it. It's gonna be the legendary. Yep. Yeah. God dang, I mean, that's one of those ones that's just so centered on luck sometimes. And then so, you know, you just need to have the bigger bar. Because sometimes, yeah, this is a link card. Um, sometimes you have the the luck of you like leaving at the bottom and then it'll actually like hover for a second and then it'll flap around and come back to the bottom and you can actually keep gaining up but then other times you don't at all so I might actually try the one that makes it escape slower because I do have that bobber with me oh my gosh yeah I'm actually going to switch bobbers out oh that one's almost done because that's the one that'll make it escape slower. And I'll give it a few more tries on this one. Well, guys, I got close. I got it like where the bar was like turning green. The trap bobber is definitely the way to go. If I would have had, if I would have ate, if I would either been like a couple levels bigger in fishing or I had the dish of the sea and my bar was just a little bit bigger and I would have caught it. I'm confident I would have caught it. I got so close. It was literally like a half hour battle in game. And... I thought I was going to get it, and then it just went really crazy, and I just lost it. Um, so the trapped bobbers are going to be the way to go, the one that makes it um, deteriorate slower, these, the trap bobber. This is going to be the one that I'm going to use, and if I can just eat a bunch of fish and get myself leveled up, um, we'll do much better. Um, so yes, I'm going to do fishing off screen for that fish and for some of the other fish and just get my fishing level up. Um, I think that's what I'm going to be doing for a good while. Um, otherwise that we'll have an episode upcoming where I just do a bunch of work on the farm, decorating it up because it needs a lot of work put into it. But for now, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be talking to you guys...
later. Also need to work on befriending somebody. Not sure who... Alex is our best bet because we are the best friends with him, so... We really need to, to uh, build that friendship part up. Alright. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.